Welcome to Ucanic. In this video, I'm going to show to you what causes the active uh, headlights in up. So, uh, what active headlights is, let's first take a look at what that is. And then we're going to look at three really common issues that cause that. And then I'm going to show you how to actually use a diagnostic scanner to find out exactly so you're not just guessing. So, active headlights is basically where the headlight that you have in there, where that moves. Uh, it, it can move left and right. If you're turning, it will move in your direction, or it can move up and down. So the the whole, um, you know, light uh, light bulb in there will move in your direction, and that's what's called active headlights. Now, the, one of the really common problems is that there's a like, couple of motors on the back there behind the uh, bulb part of the headlight assembly. Those motors can get stuck; they can get damaged, and that is one of the most common issues. That's why you often will get that. The other problem why is that your 12 volt battery is defective. And that's also another pretty common one because there's a module that controls those and it doesn't get enough power when your 12 volt battery dies and then it throws a bunch of fault codes. And sometimes you can just replace your 12 volt battery, especially if it's over five years old, or you can use the Ucanic battery test tool and figure out if it's still a good battery. Uh, the third thing is, uh, a lot of these cars that have the adaptive headlights, the models that have it, uh, they also have uh, what's called either ABC suspension or they might have air, air medic suspension. And what if that is not um, calibrated, so the car doesn't know what, if it's level or if it's too high or too low on one side or the other, those will also throw a code, will throw the code for active headlights in off because the car doesn't know where to aim the car, uh, where to aim the headlights like that. Um, the S-Class right there will have the same issue, for example. Um, okay, so let's take a look in this case and see what's going on here. So here we have the Ucanic scanner. You want to go to Diagnostics. You're going to select M, M uh, Mercedes, Smart VIN. You're going to have the ignition turn on press here we have a SL400 and we'll press yes there and then go to control modules then let's go to body and then if we go down here you have left head uh, headlamp and right headlamp so let's first look at left headlamp each one of those in this case has its own control unit sometimes there's only one control unit for both of them and then you can go to read codes and then you can see here uh, actually actuation motor for right curve uh, this was the first issue that uh, I said it's a pretty common problem with those uh, it's stored so that one can be cleared and then you can see if that comes back but what's actually causing this car to trigger that warning light on the dashboard is this fault code that's current and it's uh, calibration of vehicle level was not performed so if the car like the suspension is not calibrated it will throw this fault code now not all mercedes that have active active headlights have um, active suspension like they, they might not have aromatic or they might not have abc uh, so if it doesn't then you you're not going to see this fault code because the car knows it doesn't need uh, to air suspension calibration or suspension calibration but if it does have any of those then you need to check going to the headlight headlight units and see because you might not have any issues at all with the headlights uh, it just you might need to carry out calibration uh, so you can go ahead clear the codes uh, the rest of them are going to clear but this one here that says current that's not going to clear let's hit our race press ok it says codes cleared and then you can see the um, the issues that are still there is actually the actuation motor for the right active curve illumination so it's saying that even though we're looking at the left headlight it looks like we have an issue with the right one that I mentioned the one of the most common issues is that the motor is inside and the module is not even communicating on the right headlight so there's another issue there but uh, that's how you can find out you can also do a quick scan that this will go through all the control units on the car and then you can look at the report 
and then you can see what issues are current that could be affecting your active headlights. Now if your car was on scan for a long time, for like a year or two or more, what will happen is you're going to see, I mean we, we have a few codes here, but if the car was on scan for a long time, you probably have let's say 20, 30 full codes and that's that's normal because these cars, even a simple thing like a weak battery will trigger a number of full codes, low voltage and they get stored there. So what I recommend people to do is they can run a scan, they can save it in case they want to look at it later. Then they can hit a erase hole at the bottom here where it says erase that becomes enabled. You hit erase and then the scanner will go through all the control modules and it will clear all the codes. All the old cord, full codes, all stored, you know, history codes and stuff like that, they get cleared. And then you can start the car, drive it for even five minutes, and then uh, bring it and do another scan. And then you'll see all the full codes that are still there and are current. And that's what you want to focus on. Because there's no way that you can, you know, connect the dots if you've got like 30 full codes still active or on, on the history. In this case, the scan is complete you can click report here and then you scroll to the bottom and then you can see all the different full codes uh, you have open circuit that's for for the engine and transmission it's got an issue communicated with the shifter that's stored that's old all these they say is stored uh, current we have a additional auxiliary battery that's a that's a current issue it needs to be fixed that's when you get that auxiliary battery malfunction and a few other store codes but air suspension calibration of vehicle level was not performed so if you come back and then go to suspension system and then uh, you can do control unit adaptations level calibration and go through the calibration the car needs to be level and go through the calibration now if you have an issue if you have a weak air compressor or a bad level sensor or something like let's say uh, a leak or something of that nature you probably won't be able to successfully complete the calibration level without first addressing that issue but you can see a lot of times when you have active headlights um, warning message uh, on the cluster a lot of times if it's it's the headlight assembly itself like the motors inside that control the the, the bulb uh, if it's not there it could be a number of other things that really don't have to do anything directly with that they're just indirectly affecting that uh, control unit and that function on the car so that's uh, how you troubleshoot it and thank you for watching mechanic where you can be the mechanic